my name's Maria Bravina, I'm a 47 year old lady. I've come here today because I'm totally 100% against the bedroom tax. I just think it's immoral, it, it's just picking on vulnerable you know, sections of society. Is it going to be affecting you yourself? Yes, big time. I never ever, ever thought somebody like me would ever be affected by bedroom tax. You see, I've worked all my life since the age of 16. I've always gone out to work. I'm not one of these shirkers, so-called shirkers, what the government say. I gave up a job when I was nearly 40 to care for my mother. She had a stroke. I cared for her. She passed away 2010. I gave myself a six-month break because I had all these savings to go into the break. I had the shock of my life when I was told I had to sign on to get my national insurance credits. I wasn't entitled to one penny from the state because my carer's allowance didn't pay for the national insurance contribution. So how, how, how much do you stand to lose through the new uh, housing benefit cut? I stand to lose. Uh, I, I, well, I was, um, as I said, I was living off my savings, you know, for two years. And that was fine by me, I, was, I thought I could get a job, but for well on two years, I still haven't got a job. Um, I'm claiming now housing benefit and job seekers allowance. 71 pounds a week I get job seekers. From that, I'm expected to pay 14 pound a week bedroom tax, plus there's council tax, so double whammy, an extra two pound a week. So I'm expected to, to live off 55 pounds a week. Gas, electric, food, heating, and plus I've got a 17 year old cat. What do you think um, is, I mean, what, what do you think will happen to people who are affected by the tax? What are, what are the possible outcomes? Well, people like me, I think, uh, are going to have to go into survival mode. I look at it like this. My mum and her generation survived the Second World War by rationing drastically food and heating. I'm just going to have to eat less, put heating on less. I'm going to have to. Uh, but a lot of people I know won't survive. The suicide rates are going to go up. It's got, there are going to be casualties in this. People are going to be evicted. It's just so terrible. Do you think there's any sense at all in the in this tax? No, I don't. I don't. I can't see the logic at all. It's not about saving money because I know for a fact my uh, two-bedroom home, full rent, is eighty pounds. Now, if, they were to, if I was to give up my home and go into a one-bedroom property, which there aren't any, by the way, halted, if I did go into one-bedroom property, it would cost well over a hundred pounds, and my rent would be paid for because I've had to work. How's that saving money? It isn't. And why do you think it's important people come um, to public protests like this one today to voice their opposition? I think it's very, very important. I mean, most of the people here today, if you have got the politicians, you know, the seasoned campaigners, but most of the people here today are ordinary people, the masses who are affected, plus friends of theirs. I've got some friends here who are, you know, who are here to support the people affected. I think it's great. This is going to be the first of many, I'm positive. There are going to be riots. I, I hate saying this, but there are going to be riots. I mean, I'm from Salford. Salford is number two in the league table of people, you know, worst affected by bedroom tax. Top of the league is here, right here in Manchester Central. There are going to be riots. When, you know, when bedroom tax kicks in, people can't cope. It's horrible.